Yay! So I had to wake up really early this morning now, like butt crack of dawn. It's still dark outside. I had a shower with this stinky, stinky surgical scrub, which smelt awful when she starts scrubbing into your skin. Didn't have to use it on my hair. Thank God. I semi dried my hair. It will dry the rest of the way there. We have to leave like in less than an hour. I'm in some jogging pants and I'm in one of my husband's old shirts because if you ever had surgery done laparoscopically, I just say that slowly, they blow you up with gas and it, you just look huge. So I wore one of his bigger shirts because I know how uncomfortable I'm going to be just being blown up with gas. I keep telling myself that this is only two incisions and it's the simplest surgery I've had. I'm hoping not too painful, just a little bit uncomfortable, but I'll let y'all know. I'm still excited. It's just too early to show my excitement. Um, I feel so dry. Like I can't have no water. My hands are dry because I can't do lotion. My lips are dry because I can't do chapstick. <clears throat> I did get to take a little tiny bit of water with my meds. I did end up. Uh, I did end up making me some fruit water for afterwards. So I'm gonna take that with me. I can drink that on the way home in my big old container. So all the fruit will soak in while I'm in surgery. I was supposed to do that last night, but I didn't. I totally forgot all about it. But we're going to take you through my surgery day, which is not a day. Hopefully it's just a couple of hours at the hospital and then I'll be heading home. So until later. We are on the way to the hospital in the rain. Leaving the house just in time. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> they don't consider you a visitor. Give me a pain chart. She put things on my legs. She gave me a pain chart. She put things on my legs. I am just currently waiting for my IV and the doctor and everything to come in here. And we'll get rolling. IV is in, in my collection of wristbands. She blew one of my veins in my hand. So she went in a bend of my arm. And I'm just stitching all over. Knee surgery. And a recovery. I'm just itching. Really badly. Like everywhere. I'm waiting for something to drink. I have like dry mouth. 
go home. I want to go home to my dog. Can you reach my lower back? So, another surgery. So I could tell the pain. It's like a four or five, like a really bad PMS cramp. And it's with pain meds. I know, I look all funny. Um, just waiting to be discharged. I have like 20 minutes before they even consider really me. I haven't talked to the doctor at all. Um, my throat hurts from the breathing tube and I'm finally, finally drinking something. But so far, so good. It's just, I wanna go home and lay down and cuddle with my dog. I wish you let the circulation in these elevators though. We are finally on our way home. I know I sound weird, but my throat hurts from the breathing tube. But actually, we're just sitting at Joanne's right now. My husband went in to grab some shirts for our business because the place where we order shirts is closed because of this stupid virus. They gave me like two doses of pain meds. I think I mentioned it earlier. I'm not for sure. Really not for sure. Um, I'm gonna go home and relax. Really, it just feels like some bad PMS cramps with me being on pain meds. And that's why I figured Hopefully, it doesn't get worse. It was worse when I woke up in recovery. The pain is what I expected. I can actually move. I wanted to walk out of the hospital, but they willed me out because I'm like, okay, I just want to get home. I just want to get home. Get home, relax. Eat lunch because I haven't even had breakfast yet. But I do have my thing of fruit water here I made myself this morning it's day three of post-op I didn't vlog yesterday because I figured we would end the vlog today today's Thursday I had my surgery Tuesday the first day like when I came home it was rough I had a rough night I was in pain it sucked yesterday I started my period the day after surgery was sucks Thankfully, I had stockpiles downstairs of where I used to keep on and I had some pads because you're not allowed to use tampons until it's approved by the doctor. Yesterday, the pain wasn't that bad. I still had pain, especially if my bladder got a little full and pressed up against like my ovaries and stuff. It hurt. And then the gas pain, it felt like I had gas trapped in my shoulders. I still do today. And in my rib cage on my right side where I slept on my right side. So last night I wanted to I wanted to try to sleep on my left side, which the incisions are on my left side. I think I mentioned earlier in the video I was supposed to have two incisions. I ended up with three. Two on my left side, one in my belly button. Which is totally okay. But I felt <clears throat> I was waking up last night on my back. I guess it wasn't comfortable to sleep on my left side. I still have gas pains in my shoulder today. In my throat, oh my gosh, the breathing tube. When I came home, my throat killed me yesterday. It hurt just a little. So I've been eating ice cream and today, today, like my voice is almost completely gone. It wasn't like this until they put the breathing tube down my throat. Like I feel like they had to shove it down there. But recovery hasn't been that bad. Today, hardly any pain. I've been walking up and down stairs. 
doing laundry, which I think my husband's going to be mad about when he gets home. Oh, well, and I vacuum the living room because I don't want to just sit around. We're social distancing from other people because of everything going on. And I'm bored. My son's not here. I had my nieces here today. And, but I'm bored. So I had to do something. And I really had to do something. But I hope this video helps anyone that is looking to have their tubes removed, tied, or burned, clamped, whatever. I don't, I don't think it was that bad. I don't think recovery was that bad. I still have, you're in recovery for two weeks. But I'm on day three and hardly any pain. Unless I bend the wrong way and then I hurt. And, of course, the gas pain. The first day, once you have the surgery, that's the worst day. But I'm still limited to what I can do for the next week and a half. Which sucks. Which sucks. Which sucks big time. But I hope this helped. Please give this video a big thumbs up if it did. Um, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.